An historic church at the Jersey Shore is facing the wrecking ball, despite efforts by thousands of parishioners who want to save. Churchgoers at Seattle City Parish are doing battle with church officials in an effort to keep their century-old church building open. Eyewitness News reporter Clee Bryan is live in Seattle City tonight with more on their quest to save St. Joseph's Church. Clee? Well, we spoke to some of the church members today to say that they're absolutely heartbroken that this 135-year-old church uh, could be uh, demolished because the diocese and the leadership of the church no longer want it. And with, earlier, they had a lot of passion as they told us their reasons for wanting to keep it. We were married here. Uh, our children were baptized here. For more than 75 years, Tom Henry has attended and served at St. Joseph's Catholic Parish in Sea Isle. Next to the current sanctuary, built in 2011, is the original 135-year-old church building, which is now in danger of being torn down. This week, the Diocese of Camden issued what's called a decree of relegation, meaning the site is no longer considered sacred and can be demolished. Among their reasons, St. Joseph Parish does not use nor need to use the former church for divine worship because the facility of the newer St. Joseph Church, located on the same campus, is adequate and accessible to all parishioners. They lie to us outright that this church would stay if we paid for the new church. It's not just this handful of people who are holding on to the past. An online petition to save the historic church has nearly 2,500 signatures, and parishioners raised considerable funds to do restorations. We all raised $2.5 million on the condition that this historic church would stay. Painters, plumbers, and carpenters have all pledged to do repairs for free, but the priest and diocese would rather demolish the old building in favor of another new facility. Parishioners say the rift is unhealthy for the congregation. There's people that aren't coming to this church anymore. We have a lot of people willing to give, but they don't trust the church anymore. And that, that's a fundamental issue here. Uh, we are unable to speak to the priest today, and the parishioners that we spoke with say they're going to continue to uh, have this on their petition, and they're going to take it all the way to the Vatican in this fight if they have to. In Sea Isle, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Cleve, thank you.